Hey there. So, um, it's been a very interesting week. The, uh, the post last week about hybrids got a lot of incredibly interesting responses. In fact, I would say it's probably the coolest discussion that uh, has yet been had on this year tech blog. So, uh, here is a personal thank you to everybody who commented on that last week. Um, also, a very special announcement this week. Um, as some of you know, I have been working on turning this here uh, tech blog into a podcast. And I had a brief experiment with a uh, blogger that didn't quite turn out so well, mainly because uh, they shifted something on me, so it no longer writes the correct enclosures. But rather than try and sort my way through it, I finally just decided to hell with it. And uh, I'm pleased to announce that this week, if uh, you want to catch up on my tech blog, you can now do so on my own bright, shiny new website. Uh, is at drexfactor.com. And uh, the tech log is at drexfactor.com slash weird science. Uh, you can find each and every video I've ever done there and sort them according to what they show, what category they are. It's totally awesome. So, um, starting off with uh, the hybrid theory from last week, which basically broke down to a hybrid is whenever the poi heads are moving in a different combination of timing and direction than the hands are, which um, broke down well for all the hybrids that I was doing, but as soon as I started trying to put compound circles, aka normal flowers, into the mix, suddenly things didn't work out so great. Um, namely, what I was finding is that there were parts in the cycle where it was going split time, same direction, parts of the cycle where it was going same time, same direction. Um, so maybe it would be better to frame hybrids in this uh, in, in, in this kind of breakdown as the point at which um, the timing and direction is variable as opposed to the hands. And we'll roll that one around and see and, and, and see what comes out of it. But um, one of the more interesting responses I got last week was from Alien John, who uh, threw out an idea about um, how you build caps and hybrids that I found utterly intriguing and that has led to all kinds of fun experiments in the past 24 hours. So here are a few of them. Um, it basically breaks down to the idea that there are a few elements of motion, i.e. like doing a loop slash anti-spin and uh, moving around a circle, moving in a pendulum, moving in a straight line, etc. And that both caps and hybrids are examples of what happens when you put these pieces together in different orders and with uh, different types of asymmetry, i.e. that a hybrid is an example of two of these types of motions slapped together um, asymmetrically. That is, each hand is doing something different, although um, they are completing that motion all the way around, whereas a cap would be an example of asymmetry and timing. In other words, um, your hands are both doing the same type of motion, but they are mixing up both whether um, they're completing that motion in a given direction, as well as what type of motion they're doing at each point. The motion becomes segmented rather than continuous as it does with a hybrid. Um, by the way, uh, John, if I'm not getting this right, please, please, please let me know in the comment section, even though thinking of hybrids and caps this way has led to some very fun stuff. Anyway, so I bet you want to see some of that fun stuff. Cool. Well, let's start off with a hybrid that I played with last week. This is the Trichetra versus uh, Pendulum hybrid. And now I'm going to throw a little bit of a monkey wrench into it. I'm going to switch which hand is doing the trichetra. Now, if we accept for a second that a cap is in actuality different bits of motion that have been composited together, this, whoops, would qualify as both hybrid and cap because each hand is switching off whether it's doing pendulum or that anti-spin flower, right? We could even switch H vertice to come up with a slightly different variation on this. Or, for the purists out there who believe that caps have to be going straight back and forth, 
what if we take this as our example? This totally fits the requirements of both. John calls this idea composites, which I think is a very apropos term for it. What are some other composites that I've been playing with? Um, well, let us take, for, uh, I'm having a, a, an easy time with anti-spin and pendulum in this, uh, switching between the two of them, like so. So, for example, you can go, oops, opposites, split time. With this kind of pattern. Or, say, you start off with a pair of caps off to your side, and then you were to say, reach across. Oops. You know, it's my own place, I hit everything. Like so. And then we can introduce a different piece in the mix. Let's say we suddenly switch to adding a pendulum as we're doing this, in which case. So these are just a couple funky examples of where this line of thinking can take us. Um, once again, I don't know if it's an accurate reflection of uh, the idea that Alien John was trying to get across to me, but I am finding all of the various things that it takes me to very fun. So, and we're playing around with that a lot more in the coming week. And um, yeah, if uh, if you think this looks cool, please leave a comment below. And uh, if you really like it, please, please, please make a video. Show off some of the ideas that, uh, that this brings to you. And with that, I will uh, bid you guys adieu for the week. And uh, yeah, please visit me on the web now at drexfactor.com. And hopefully, I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Thanks so much for watching.